problem is that the laws that the city has on the books prohibits cooperation. And I heard what the chief of staff said the other day. She said she would honor it with a warrant. Uh, however, the type of warrant that ICE uses to deport individuals uh, is an administrative warrant, and they are not honoring those. And in fact, it's public online record. Uh, you can look it up yourself. It's every single detainer request issued by ICE in, in the last few years has been denied by the NYPD because city council passed a law under Bill de Blasio that ties their hands and prohibits cooperation. There's also a similar state law that pro prohibits ICE from arresting anyone on their way to or on their way from a court hearing. So in essence, if somebody uh, wanted to make it, if I just wanted to make an arrest the morning of outside of the suspect's home or one of the shelters, they'd be prohibited by state law from doing so. So the problem is that these laws, I mean, they got to be changed. And with such a radical city council and state legislature, I think the mayor and the governor are going to have a hard time changing those laws. We'll see. That's to be determined, right? And to be continued as the conversation plays out. But I want to talk about funding overall, too, because that is a big issue here. Mayor Adams, once again, because of this incident, calling for federal funding and assistance to handle the influx of migrants. So as a member of Congress, right, do you think, Ms. Malitakis, that more federal dollars should go to places like New York City and other cities seeing the increase in asylum seekers. Look, I, I think that the funding uh, is an issue because the mayor uh, is insistent on opening more shelters and encampments. And if we provide any more funding, that's what he's going to do. And that is our problem with this. We will, if the mayor shuts down his misinterpretation of this right to shelter law, which a Staten Island judge said clearly in a decision when we sued regarding a Staten Island migrant shelter, that the city has no obligation to house these individuals. Um, home, right to shelter is meant for homeless New Yorkers. If he were to take that judge's decision and then shut down this program, then I would work with the mayor to try to recoup the funding that the city lost. But for them to continue to open up more shelters and more encampments when we already have hundreds. Well, he says his hands uh, are tied by the he says his hands are tied by the law because of the sanctuary city status. Well, I mean, again, that's a sanctuary city status that he and the city council can change. Uh, but the judge in our decision on Staten Island reaffirmed that right to shelter is intended for homeless New Yorkers, which is what I and many other uh, local elected officials have been saying all along. He didn't have to do this. In fact, I, if I were the mayor, what I would have done is not do it. And then these advocate groups that are so radical that want to support all these open border policies, let them sue and insist that 8 billion people on the planet are entitled to free shelter in New York City. Just, just think about that, how... It doesn't even make sense. How can you possibly house, you know, 8 billion people on the planet should they come to New York City? But that's what they're claiming by this policy. All of this comes down to what's happening and playing out at the border. House Speaker Mike Johnson said last week that the Senate border deal would be a non-starter in the House. If there is a bipartisan agreement in the Senate and there is such an issue at the border, why not pass something now to get it done? What's holding it back? Well, we passed a Border Security Act, as you know, in May, and we're asking the same question. Why hasn't the Senate passed it? The Senate so far has not passed anything. We don't even have language of any type of uh, border bill from their end. So what we really need is Chuck Schumer to pass something. If he doesn't like our bill that we passed in May, he should pass his own bill. And then once it passes the Senate, let's reconcile. Right, but if he passes it, I mean, not to interrupt you, if he passes it, Mike Johnson said it's dead on arrival. Why? Well, in our bill, unfortunately, which would actually fix the problem because it reinstates the policies of the previous administration that was working, is then on arrival in the Senate. So there, there's a difference there, and we need to reconcile that difference. But until Schumer passes something, we can't see what their priorities are. We're only basing it what we hear on Twitter, which right now what we're hearing on Twitter is that they want a deal that would have 1.8 million people be allowed to come through the southern border. Remember, every person that comes through that southern border is paying the drug cartels. So that's hundreds of millions of dollars that would enrich the cartels further. Why would we approve that? That that's legalizing the current disaster that is happening. Uh, it'll it'll lessen it a little bit, but still, at the end of the day, you're talking about hundreds of of billions of dollars that will go enriching the drug cartels, and you'll continue to add to our already strained immigration if, system that is further pushing people who have been waiting in the system down the line. If, I think what my solution, look, what we need to do is simply secure this border and stop the flow. Not 1.8 million people a year. But the president said he would it. do that. 
The president said, if you vote on something, I will shut the border down. He used tough the, language the here. Hold on Dan, one second. if you believe that, no, I've got a let me $25 just finish. toll on the Verrazano Bridge to sell you. Let me, ju let honest, me just finish this, because the president said, this crisis. the president so said, I will shut I'm the border. I'm not going to let you get away with saying I that the to finish the question. the border. His executive orders created this crisis. He purposely opened the border. So you're going to believe that he's actually going to secure it? That's nonsense, and I'm not going to let the president get away with that. He is responsible for the crisis that we're seeing today, period. He implemented 60 policies, and he could undo them today if he wants. You don't even need legislation. Okay. Just undo what you did, President Biden, and we would see this crisis stop. I'm just going by what the president said. I, I know you're throwing it back on me. Yeah, I'm and just... he's a liar. Okay, so, but the I mean, former president, don't repeat what he says. <laughs> Donald Trump said a border deal is not necessary. Those were his words. Do you agree with that, that a border deal is not necessary? Well, so, as I just explained, the uh, President Biden put in place executive orders and 60 policy changes at the border when he first came into office. He can simply undo those policies, and it would rectify it. The reason why the House and Senate are trying to get something done here is because the President won't take action to undo his executive orders. Remember, I mean, people have to think about this logically. No president, Republican or Democrat, have we seen this type of crisis before. This is of Joe Biden's own making. He can undo it if he wants to. He refuses to. Now, Senator Schumer won't pass our bill, and he won't pass his own bill. When he passes something so we could see what their priorities are, then we can reconcile with the bill that has been sitting on his desk since May. But the, the, the idea that Democrats are trying to shift this uh, crisis onto Republicans when they are single-handedly responsible for it at every level is ludicrous. From the president's policies, as I just mentioned, to the mayor okay. continue to incentivize people to come here for free housing, and the governor, who their policies, too, have d tied the hands of Homeland Security and ICE to access certain records from local law enforcement. They actually prohibited law enforcement from speaking with ICE or, or Customs and Border Protection at all. Okay. So, so we got to look to these people who are passing these ridiculous laws and, and not continue to support them for re-election. It's just ludicrous. Well, and some are saying